prepare the way, O Zion, your Christ is drawing near. Let every hill and valley all level way appear. Greet one who comes in glory, foretold in sacred story. O blessed is Christ that came in God's most holy day. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Monday, December the 9th. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 25 and Matthew chapter 22, verse 23 to 33. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Psalm 25. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed, and do not let my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait on you be disappointed but only they which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Most High, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are my salvation, and on you I wait all the day. Remember your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they are everlasting. Forget the sins of my youth and my transgressions. In your love remember me, for your goodness sake. You are good and upright. You show sinners the path. You guide the humble in judgment, and you teach the poor your way. Your paths are mercy and truth to such as keep your covenant decrees. For your mercy's sake, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Those who fear you shall be taught the path they should choose. They shall dwell in happiness, and their children shall inherit the earth. Your secret is with them that fear you, and they will see your covenant. My eyes are always on you. You pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am desolate and afflicted. The anguish of my heart is increased. Bring me out of my distress. Look upon my affliction and my pain. Forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my enemies and how violently they hate me. Keep my soul and deliver me, and do not disappoint me, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I hope in you. Redeem Israel, O God, from all its troubles. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. To you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, beginning at verse 23. That same day, some Sadducees came to Jesus, saying, There is no resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, if a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, and so also the third down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection, then, whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her. And Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is God not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. Here ends the lesson.
Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Defend us, O God, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. O merciful God, teach us your ways and keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We turn to you, O God. We place our trust in you. Lead us along your paths and teach us your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>